Hi everybody, welcome back to my Fluid Art channel. My name's Claire. I've just been experimenting with different pouring mediums and I've got quite a lot of paint left over. So I've thickened it up slightly. It was Dutch pour consistency. I've thickened it up slightly, added a bit more paint and I'm going to do a split cut pour. Um, now the colours, I'll show you in a second, the colours are amazing bright contrasting colours um, in my split cup for my split cup so really excited to see a really contrasting piece done uh, created with the split cup so let me show you so these are my colours so I've got phthalo turquoise I've got purple I've got iridescent um, violet blue which is the pebio iridescent blue green which is pebio and this is white but with a bit of silver so it's actually a grey colour um, let me try and show you the consistency. Um, so it was really thin. It was as thin as Dutch pour consistency. Um, it's mixed with PVA glue and water, um, but I've just added a little bit more paint just to just to thicken it up. So you can see it leaves a mound. It leaves a bit of a trail um, on the surface, but it's still quite runny. Um, I'm going to use this, so my five chamber split cup, um, and just see what, what fun paint, what fun pour I can create with such contrasting colours. I'm just going to fill my um, split cup. I don't really know how ordering these paints actually influences the end result at the moment, uh, but I think it, it seems to make sense to keep things separate. So I'll separate the turquoises. Um, the dark turquoise I think I'll put next to the pink. That turquoise can go there and then maybe that in the middle. But then maybe maybe I should go like that. I don't I really don't know. I haven't done enough of these. This is probably my my third one. I haven't done enough to really yet understand how layering the or how filling the split cup actually influences the result. Um so I'm just gonna fill them like this. Right, I just dripped it right in the centre. Oh well, let me just give this a little, I'm just going to just do a little circle in it just to try and blend it. Wow, look at those colours. I'm super excited about this. Oh my goodness, they are beautiful. Um, there's a lot of paint there, but I'm going to put some flow extender down. So I'm just literally pouring the rest of my colours around the edge so that the paint doesn't roll over itself, so that it can push against it. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, there's some lumps in this turquoise, and I saw it when I was pouring it, and I tried to sort it out. I've just seen some there. So as I'm tilting this out, I'm gonna to have to be really on the lookout for any little lumps, because the lumps, unfortunately, will change the, the composition of the painting. So um, I'm gonna keep looking. I'll tilt quite slowly and just keep looking for any lumps. I'm just gonna give it a really good torch because there are loads and loads of air bubbles. The paints I only mixed up just before the painting so there will be lots just just lots of air bubbles in it um, but I quite like um, the effect of little air bubbles and little cells in a straight pour because it just it just breaks up some of the really solid lines 
So I think I'll try and keep torching throughout the tilting. Right, so I'm going to start to tilt this. I think to start with, I'm just going to try and get as much canvas covered. So just go round in a bit of a circle, I think. The flow extender's working because the big puddle is pushing on that on that flow extended paint so it's not rolling over itself so it's just stretching out really nicely Right, so that's everything covered. So I'm just bringing the weight of the paint back to the center and then I can stop again and have a really good look and see what I like and see what I don't like and then do a bit more tilting if necessary. Right, so to me, I much prefer this section here. I'm not as keen on that really solid purple. So I'm gonna tilt, try and tilt off some of that I can still feel there's quite a lot of what paint on here so there's no worry about, about about losing some of this paint So now that's interesting because that's the centre right up there now. Right, I think I've got it. I think I've got the composition I want. I just wanted to catch the white over that far corner so that it matched more. The composition seemed a bit more sort of symmetrical. Right, I'm just going to touch up the corners and then I'll show you. This is so much fun. What is fascinating is you've got pink and green, but they haven't muddied, they haven't made brown. Um, so I think that's the beauty of the, using this split cup. They just don't blend. You've got the separate distinct colors, which I just love. And there, look, turquoise and purple, they're not blending. They're next to each other, but they're not muddying. Um, this is very, very abstract. It's very, um quirky it's it juts out everywhere so there isn't really a pattern it's very I just, I can't, just abstract I can't think of any other word for it um but I love it I don't normally like lots of white but I think the white next to that purple just works really well um and the white isn't plain because you've just got all these wonderful colors just lined within I mean just look at that it's so pretty within the white so and also I, I, it was a grey, not a white. So that just tones it down just that little bit. So it's not quite so stark. What an interesting painting. Some of my favourite colours all together, but not muddying. So excited. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry and wow, what a crazy blast of colour this is. Um, it's so unusual. Um, it looks to me especially here, almost like it's like a scrunched up piece of paper. It's got such angular um, lines in it. It just, or maybe a bit of crushed velvet or something like that, where it's all wrinkled up. Um, it's really interesting. Um, the colours are so dramatic. So you've got such dark purple next to white. I uh, love how the colours just stay, stay so separate. Um, there's a little bit of, you can see the overlapping slightly of the colours. You can see that's the turquoise over the top of the purple. But the colours are just so distinct, so separate. And I just love that. I love it. Um, really like there, you've got the where the green, the turquoise blends in with the purple there. And I love all these lines. So many lines that are stayed separate and not muddied. Um, it's really beautifully shiny and iridescent. I can try and show you. 
that iridescent violet blue is really, really pretty, um, along with the iridescent turquoise. So, so totally different, um, so fun, so much fun to create, and I think the result is really fun. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. If you've got any comments, please drop them in the comments box below, um, and I hope you're all going to have a lovely weekend. Bye.